Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name's Amy. If you're new here, I'm spinning around so the lighting's better. Today I'm going to the Farley Hospices outlet store. I've been to it once before and I definitely vlogged it for Instagram. I'm not sure if I vlogged it for here, um, but I'm going to go. On the hunt for a bridesmaid dress, I realise that is quite a big ask, but I do have like an occasion wear section. Um, also still looking for bric-a-brac for the room, just like some little odd bits and pieces. Apologies for the reflection of my glasses. Um, and last time I got some of my favourite, favourite wardrobe pieces. I got my long black dress um, that I love, that the girls have all borrowed. Um, also got a really cute bag from there before. Um, everything's really cheap. Good brick, good furniture, clothes, homeware, you name it, they've got it. And let's go. I thought I'd talk you through the outfit before I go. So earrings I got in Lanzarote. This vest is ah, new from stay in your lane vintage in brighton jacket is from one of the charity shops thinks and loose hospice jeans are latham street from the filler bag sale belt is from haven's hospice outlet it's two pounds and the bag is from Smelza in strewed haven't tell me if that's wrong um and that's for <laughs> Okay, I'm back from the shops and I'm gonna thought I'd show you what I got. So it was good today. As you saw from the vlog footage, she said initially, well, we went in, it was closed. Kind of the upstairs occasion went a bit and I was like, oh, I've come all the way here, but it's fine, we'll still shop, like it's okay. Then I overheard these ladies obviously having this exact same conversation with one of the shop workers and they were like, we will open it up for you. It's just basically don't normally have enough staff to man it on the weekend but they let us up there and I did find a dress. It was the one you've seen in the vlog footage. I have just tied the belt because apparently in the um, vlog footage, I didn't get a picture of the belt on it. So I've just tied the belt on here so I don't lose it. But it is literally just like a satin tie belt. And it is just this dress. This was 35 pounds. It's originally from um, Maury Lee by Madeline Gardner. I'll have to Google it to see if it's like actually like a well-known brand. Um, 
but it just fit really nicely. So I'm thinking for the bridesmaid dresses, she basically wants everyone to be mix and match. So I'm thinking I might just get a couple of options, kind of as and when I see them, get some options, and then whichever I don't wear, I'll just sell on, um, or like donate, depending on what the finances are looking like. Um, but it's just this floor length lace dress. It's got little boob cup bits inside. It is just really, really, really sweet. And it is a little tiniest bit snug, but I do get it on and it's fine. The zip and the hook and eye needs fixing, but nothing a dressmaker couldn't just quickly fix. Um, but yeah, for £35, I picked up that and that was one of the big things I brought. And considering it's an outlet store, I normally only spend like fiver there, but I did actually end up spending a lot more because of that dress. Um, but still a lot less than I would pay if I was buying one of these dresses new. But as you saw, the first kind of place we went into was the bric-a-brac section and kind of their furniture shop. So their bric-a-brac was four for two pounds. Um, and I basically saw this little blue candle. I'm thinking it can go in this candlestick. Can I point it there? I'm thinking I could put it in the candlestick. It's probably the right size. If not, it's just cute and goes with the theme of the bedroom. It is only originally Primark. Um, then I got these two little, again, little tea light holders, but I thought the colours on these are like the exact colours I've got in the bedrooms. So I thought these are a good thing I put maybe on my windowsill. It's just kind of tie in the colour um, throughout the room rather than just kind of on my desk and like the main focal points in the room. I want little touches of the colour everywhere um, and I thought they were really, really sweet. The next thing I picked up is this little dish. I don't know if it's meant to be a tea light holder, but it's just got this really, really gorgeous kind of watercolour flowers painted on it. Um... I don't know if this is hand painted. It hasn't got any branding on it. Um, but I thought that was really sweet. As you guys know, I love to have little pots around to chuck earrings in or little necklaces, but I just think this is really pretty and I really love kind of the watercolours. Just look how pretty that is. I just think that's really cute and brings in kind of the pastel colours I've got going around the room. So for clothes, more or less everything was like a pound each, two pound each. So don't have individual pricing on anything so i'll show you what i picked up so the first thing is just this white dress i will insert triangle clips um i'm not sure if it's gonna fit it was in kind of the extra large section but it is just a medium and it's just this white plain high neck dress with kind of a midi length skirt now does this look good quality no it doesn't in fact i think it's actually going to be quite see-through however i thought with some white or nude underwear underneath. This could look really good for work, um, as it's high neck, and I feel like it's gonna be that material that hopefully is relatively breathable, where it's quite thin. But I'm hoping this could be a good work dress, and I feel like you could play around with colors with this, add in some funky color accessories or something, but I just thought it's a nice, easy from on for work dress. And I, to be honest, I think even if you really crinkle it up, I don't think it's gonna need an iron. I think it's just that material that will just hang nice. Um, so I'm hoping, that fits and that'll look cute um, just as like a nice everyday work dress. The next thing, so that was two pounds. Then I picked up this cami. This is originally the casual club. It just feels like a really, really thick double lined. In fact, it's got kind of the built in boob bit, which I love. This little built in extra support is great. I have it on one of my tops. I'm hoping this is long enough um, to kind of actually cover my boobs. But I've got this on one of my other tops and it's so supportive and makes my boobs look insane. And you know what? When I'm just chilling around the house, I like to have a comfy vest top on, but then if I'm hopping on FaceTime with a potential suitor, it is nice to have a top that flatters me. And I'm hoping this will, because it's got kind of that stretchy kind of, a bit like shapewear material. Um, in size 16 this is only a pound it is cropped um but i'm thinking even with some denim jeans it's gonna look really cute um it's just like an every casual everyday casual sort of outfit um kind of high what i imagine supermodels wearing off duty i feel like with this hair this and some jeans could be really cute it's got adjustable straps which is always amazing and this is also the sort of top if you don't want to wear a bra you can just about get away with it and um, because of that double lining feature so i picked up for only a pound the next thing I picked up was also a pound, and it's just this jumper. So I've been on the hunt. I'm going to say for 10 years. That's probably too much. I'm going to say for at least five or six years, I've been looking for a nice cable knit jumper. I've had some that are too small, too big, whatever. I really wanted a white. This is cream, but 
for that let it go um let's talk over knit jumper and i must admit i wasn't sure how i was feeling about this top bit but i actually think i really like it this is an xl which is an 18 to 20 which i wanted it to be kind of oversized um but to be fair i think this will actually fit me quite well i don't think it'll fit oversized at all but i just thought this was really cute i know we're kind of getting out of the season that i would be wearing this but i'm thinking in winter you know that season that hopefully is far off um with some like leather trousers it's gonna look really cute but equally just a good like comfy chilling around the house but i feel like with the details on the buttons you could kind of dress this up with some leather trousers and make it look a bit fancier and for a pound i thought i would give that a go and then finally i picked up this little sweater vest now i was watching the thrifty freds hannah elizabeth on here i think um i was watching her youtube video her long vlog that she posted recently for charity shopping and in the charity footage she showed like a black and white monochromatic sweater vest um i spotted it i don't know if it was dog tooth i can't remember but it was this sort of pattern and i was like i really really love that so i picked this one up now i'm not sure how this is gonna fit look whatever but I just thought that was really cute. I also thought with a shirt underneath, this could be a really cute work outfit with some black trousers, but it's still kind of funky. I don't want to lose my personal sense of style from working. I don't want to start wearing really worky clothes if they're not stuff that I would usually wear. Um, obviously, everything's a lot dressier, but I still want to keep my kind of individuality. And I just think this is really, really cute. There was a black and white sweater vest I looked at in the Lanzarote Boots out that I loved. I didn't get because I was thinking it was going to be too small, but I have thought about that ever since. I kind of, it's really hard with charity shopping because you obviously have to buy stuff when you see it because you don't know if it's still going to be in the shops. But I think it can make me impulse buy a lot. And I'm aware of that. In fact, all of these purchases could be an impulse buy for all I know. This, however, is something that I've seen multiple times, kind of versions of it that haven't been right. And each time I've been disappointed they're not right. And I've thought about it quite a lot. So I'm hoping if this does fit, this will be one of them things that I will really reach for um, because I have tried on things like it and I have wanted things like it for a while. So hopefully that means I do actually want it. I think, especially with an outlet store, it's really easy to it's cheap, I'll get it, even if you don't love it. And although it's secondhand and you, I could redonate it or sell it or whatever, I still don't really want to get in the habit of buying stuff just for the sake of it because I know I was in that place a couple of years ago and it just led to me having loads of clothes I didn't really love. Um, So I am trying to be better, but I think sometimes my mind just runs away and it's like all oh, this is exciting and cheap. But as I was saying, this is the sort of thing I have nosied around and seen these sort of thing not in my size or in people's vlogs or on instagram stuff and i'm like i really 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 like that and i really want one um so hopefully this will fit and will look nice i'm gonna go to penny and ask her how to style these sort of things i feel like she is great at styling layering pieces where i really really struggle with layering i don't know if it's i'm a sweaty gal or if just i am bad at layering but i know she's amazing at it so i might ask her for tips because she is really good for layering um but this is also a pound so again thought i would risk it um and again if i don't like it i'll just sell it on or just redonate it um but that is the last thing i picked up today so if you are curious about what shop it was we went to we went to the malden farley hospice outlet so it's two big units one is bric-a-brac and furniture and then one is all clothes downstairs and then occasion wear upstairs they did less than kind of the tip that they are not opening the occasion where at weekends really now even though it does say that on the sign so just be warned that if you are going there to try and find occasion where you will have to go on a weekday um or i suppose just tell them in advance and um, they do have a really big wedding dress section that i am really keen to take my sister to um with my, my nan to look at wedding dresses um but we'll have to ask them if they can open on the weekend because I'm not quite sure we're going to get there on a weekday. Um, but that is everything I picked up today. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of vlog come haul. Um, subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.